This is Hunter's Chorus by Carl Maria von Weber. This is from Suzuki Method Book 2. Uh, the first thing you do, of course, is to make your beautiful bow hold. Step your feet apart. And actually, just if you're marching, then you'll know exactly how far your hips are apart and relax your knees. Stand up nice and straight. Prepare your violin. Beautiful left hand posture. We never stop doing that ever, ever, ever. So for Hunter's Chorus, um, I've divided it into three songs, song one, song two, and song three. And I'll do a final play together of everything at the end. So song one, we're going to start with something fancy coming off up into the air, like that. Let's practice that first. Then, four notes, up bow. And here's the distinguishing thing about this piece really big staccatos. You want to make sure your bow is very heavy and then do sudden stops like that. So it sounds like this. Give that a try. Then go up bow. It's easier to do the stop bows down here at the frog. C-sharp. Tuck your second finger in right next to your third finger before you leave it. Lift it, then it will be in tune. Stretch, make your fourth finger round. Because we're not doing so many exercises and etudes at this point, every time you play a note on your violin, just make sure that your posture is really, really great. So that's the end of song one, which I will now play all joined up. So see if you can get it to that stage before you try to go on to song two. I've changed the dynamics a little bit in song two. I start off very softly. So shh. Now your big stops again, even though they're piano. Try that. Then the second part is a little bit louder. Start up bow. Oh, and by the way, you may have noticed that every time we start a little phrase, we're starting up bow. This is louder. Hear your stops. And your turn. And this is the last part. It's going to be really loud. Oh, sorry. end of song two. Try that last little bit and here it is all joined up. Song three um, starts with a little introduction. It has a rhythm that you've heard before. Stop, mommy, stop, mommy. Four times with a please in front. So it goes. Pretty easy, but remember the stops. So then we go with a long bow. Make the bow heavy for our stop bows. Another long. Try that. Listen to how that sounds quite fast. It's tricky. Try that. Now, very fancy bowing with fancy fingering. So the 
very slowly. It's with D and C natural, three and low two, and leap off with your bow. And again, two more times. Take some time to get the brain working and coordinating all of that. But we get another chance, we play it again. So try that a little bit more coordinatedly joined up. And yet another challenge, we have long, short, short, long here. I put words, come to the hand. So we do it again. We go to the first ending. And try that. Now I'm going to join song three all together without the little intro of Stop Mommy. And, th and at the end we're going to jump to the second ending. So here is the song three going to the second ending. Very nice ending. So I hope you enjoy working on that. Really make a good staccato there at the tip of your bow. The end.